everybody and welcome to another Wednesday night workshop. I hope your ears are ready because they're in for a special treat tonight. It's TWC's concert night. Tonight's workshop highlights the musical talents of Hawaii's best wedding music and entertainment companies. Turn up your speakers and sway to the sweet tunes of three amazing wedding duels and hear tips and advice from three of Hawaii's top DJ and entertainment companies. And if you didn't make it down tonight, don't worry. That's what this video is for. You'll get to relive this entire night in the comfort of your own home. Websites for each company will be in this video so you can check out their work right away. Workshops are so much fun and totally free, so check out our link at theweddingcafe.net for next week's workshop. Thank you so much for watching and happy planning. Okay, last group. Tell us what is your background and how did you start performing together? And are you guys married or are you just performing together? We're married. <laughs> Ooh, and we love each other married. very much. Happily yeah. And we love each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first dance song? <laughs> we, oh, it was actually a, a song called, uh, it was an instrumental song called Cavatina. Cavatina. It's like a classical piece. Okay. He uh, wept the entire time. I totally. You wept, like he cried. He, no, yeah. Yeah, you know, in oh actual fact, I, like, I couldn't get through the. Uh, I couldn't get through <laughs> the. Burping uh, almost. You know, Were you like patting him? Like <laughs> we wrote our own vows, right? And oh. so, you know, as I'm sitting there with the, my hands trembling and I'm looking at the piece of paper, I started blubbering and I really started crying, like hyperventilating, crying. Oh. And my dad is sitting like right here, and he's like, "Curtis, get it together, buddy." <laughs> get it together. Curtis, like, you're a man. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Let me just try. <laughs> I, Annie, totally, did you cry? I totally lost it. I cried, but when I saw him crying, I was like, whoa. This okay, we gotta, we gotta Actually, tone it down here. I sobered her up a little <laughs> bit. Right? it up, man. Because she's like, she's like, Curtis, get it together. There's all, all, all these people we know here. Take it easy. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, how did so you, anyway. what's your background in music? Let's go back to that. And how did you start performing together? Uh, so I, I started singing from, you know, the time I can remember. I was singing around the house all the time and um, went to college for music and theater. And that's where we met. We actually met in college, and um, I'll let you take it. I'll take our story from there. Okay. Uh, let's see now. I have I have a picture at home of me. Um, I think I'm in the second grade, and I'm singing the glory of love uh, <laughs> at uh, Kapilani Park, and I'm in like a little gi, and I got the like the <laughs> headband on with the sun right here. Oh my gosh. Um, so that must have been the second grade. So I, I was I've been a musician for a long time. Uh, when I got to uh, we, we met at the University of Puget Sound in Tacoma, Washington. Lovely Tacoma, Washington, <laughs> and uh, we uh, we met in a play there. We were both theater majors. I was a theater music major, and um, we were cast opposite each other in a play. And in this play, we had to uh, be in love. We had to play lovers. So. Um, lovers. And what was the play? The uh, play was called The Seagull. <laughs> it's a Chekhov, like a Russian, very emotional, heavy crying kind of a play. Oh, so it's perfect for you, right up your yeah, alley. Yeah. perfect. Lots of people yeah. die at the end. <laughs> That's funny, Tana. I'm going to remember you said that. <laughs> you um, let up that yourself. <laughs> okay, how would you best describe Mango Season's wedding style? Uh, yeah. We, well, You're a spokesperson for the night. Come on. <laughs> got it, got it. Sorry, sorry. My mind drifted for a moment. Uh, well, we like, to, we like to call what we do uh, island soul jazz. Okay. Uh, we have, what we play is kind of a retro. We play kind of old music in general. Uh, and we bring a vibe to the wedding that's very kind of, uh, yeah, a little retro, uh, loungy, uh, chill, hangout, glass of wine kind of a vibe. Generally, that's, that's what we do. Nice. And I should say that we also expand to a five piece. So uh, when, we, when we do that, then it's kind of like a rock out swing kind of a thing. Um, 
So yeah, we, we can kind of. But right now it's going to be loungy. Right now it's going to be kind of loungy. Okay, can we hear a sample of something? Yeah, 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 totally. So this is a very, um, this is an old song by Ella Fitzgerald, which is, I, I love old jazz music like that. So this was a song that was requested once by a bride who wanted something that was um, for her processional, that was kind of her speaking to her husband. Very smoky and loungy, it was awesome. It's called uh, Let's Fall in Love. Let's do it, be Educated fleas do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. In Spain, the best upper sets do it. Lithuanians and let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. What are those instruments you're playing? Yeah. Instruments. Sorry? Uh, she has a shaker. This is called yeah. a shaker. A shaker. Uh, we got a <laughs> chime here for, you know, like a dreamy. Can you give them some chime, baby? A little dreamy. Oh. Uh. Well, that is dreamy. Like, yeah. That's very dreamy. It's like dilly do, dilly do. It's like Wayne's World. It's like Wayne's World. So, you're a husband and wife duo. Do you guys get along? <laughs> yes. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, we. Yes, we, we do. We, All the time. I, I would say that we, we have been working together full time for the last probably four or five years. Yeah, yeah. Um, creative partners, <laughs> business partners, mar you know, romantic partners. Love life partners, and uh, I would say that in TMI. general. TMI. <laughs> kind of joking. Um, sexual partners. Oh boy! Oh, we're on video. We're married. It's okay. It's okay. We're married. We are all adults here. <laughs> uh, okay. So anyway, uh, I would say that working together and being creative partners together has made our marriage stronger. I agree. There were lots of people who warned me against that, but you know. I know. You know. I know. But you got to work out. That's right. Your right stuff. You got to work it out before you, you go gotta home. You got to communicate well right. in order to get through, and yeah. that has helped us actually. Good. Helped I love that. Yeah. Okay. What are two questions brides and grooms should ask a musician before booking live entertainment? <laughs> Keep making you the spokesman. Yeah. Um, you got it, baby. You got it. Well, okay. Two two things that you should ask. Well, he, he, here's here's some advice that generally I give people, okay. and, and this is uh, similar to what was said earlier. But I would say that the first thing that we need to know is what is the vibe that you're looking for? What is the, what is the, what is the feeling that you're going for for your, for your evening? Uh, we've played kind of beachside, barefoot, kind of capilla, hangout, everybody's in board <laughs> shorts kind of a thing. We've also played kind of elegant, uh, ball gown, tuxedo kind of things. And uh, you know, everybody's different and your, your personalities are different and who you are as a couple is different. And our job is to try and make sure that we give you the right kind of atmosphere. Music is really great for that, for creating yeah. this kind of atmosphere. And so that's probably the first thing to know. Um, was that the question? That was there the was question, two yeah. Oh, okay. That's the question. That was answering maybe the, one. Maybe the question was, <laughs> how can you help us to create oh, okay, our okay, I got it. Yeah, Sorry, I'm trying to shoehorn okay. what I'm saying into what you're asking. And um, what's the second question? Um, the second question is... Okay, well, in our experience, yeah. in our experience, music really works well for, for kind of three phases of the wedding. Um, the ceremony period, so, you know, a little bit of music before and then through the processional and the recessional and all that. A bit of a cocktail hour, people hang out, have a drink, loosen up, and then during kind of dinner and then after dinner. And so, you know, the question the brides can kind of ask us is, how are the ways that you can help us create the mood during these three phases of the night. Ceremony, so cocktail, and Ceremony, dinner. Ceremony, cocktail, dinner, yeah. Got it. Generally, that's what we run into. Yeah, got it. Okay, if you're not performing at a wedding or at a gig, where would we find you to? <laughs> you seem very interesting. <laughs> oh, that's nice of you to say. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, we, we think we're a tad bit boring. We're, we're, 
We're actually huge like Korean entertainment yeah. fans. We're so we, K drama fans. We like watch K drama. Really? Big we time. We watch. Big we watch. We listen to no, Korean music. Yeah. It's like look, we're just into it. Yeah. We're super into it. So that's. <laughs> it's a bit of a guilty pleasure. <laughs> I think both of you are really into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, totally. talking about she got me the into day. it. I got him into it. We talk about our favorites. I'm like, do you know what Taeyeon did last night on Dream High? That's girls' generation. Not wait. Orange, thank you, Curtis. That's a good background. Okay, you guys have such an eclectic style and sound. Who would you say your most inspired by in the music scene? Um, I think right now I really just love Adele. I think she is she's so different than anybody I've seen. Um, you know, just the way her voice is. She has this very unique voice. I think the way she performs is very different from a lot of her contemporary performers. And her songwriting is just um, very authentic. And I think people really I really love her authenticity. I think that's why people she vibes with people so well because she's so authentic. Yeah, so I'd have to agree with that. She Adele. she's one thing I really love about Adele is that she has a really specific point of view. Mm -hmm. the, the kind of style that she goes for is really uh, uh, specific to what she's trying to do, and she didn't chase trends yeah. or try and make it sound like what you would expect on the radio. She just wrote some cool music, and yeah. I, I really really respect yeah. that about her. Okay, let's hear something else from you guys. Uh, uh, we're going to do uh, something that has been requested several times as a first dance song. So we'll just kind of give you a sense of what it sounds like. It's a little Al Green. Oh, right, okay. so many things at once. <laughs> You're super talented. <laughs> it took me a while. It took me a while. It's, it's much difficult, much more difficult than I thought it was. Well, I think I she actually, had to do something with her hands. I'm yeah, like, I used to, on, do, baby, I do used to just dance hands. up here. <laughs> and he said no. And he was like, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it with your That's hands. not going to win Do something fans, productive. So. Okay, I noticed you also sing a song by Beyonce. <laughs> you request that for the bouquet toss. So you yeah. like Beyonce, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love Beyonce. Yeah. Well, let's hear something by Beyonce. <laughs> Just a snippet. Damn you, Tana. Okay. <laughs> she knows she yeah, wants yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. You know what she wants, though. Okay, let me I just didn't get, let say the, the song, song she whatever you want. Let me just get the groove. Okay. Let me just get the groove right. Okay. We'll do, we'll do a little hybrid. She's kind of going for like a new edition thing on this song. So I got a little Bobby Brown. We'll do Bobby yeah, Brown in the you. house. <laughs> glow from the window 
Santana really wanted. <laughs> she wanted some Santana. And the dance. You told me you do the dance. Okay, now if you guys weren't wedding entertainers, like I asked everyone else, what would you be in life? Would you be teachers? Because I know you're a teacher right now, Curtis. Yeah, you know, I teach guitar, ukulele, and voice, but if, if, there, was no, if there was no music, uh, like I said, we, I was a theater major, and I do, um, I teach summers at Punahou, um, performing arts, like uh, acting, uh, directorial stuff, so I, I'd probably be a theater person. A theater, like an actor? Yeah, well, probably like a director. A director. director person. Yeah. Okay, Annie, what Wasn't would you be? An actor? I'd be a dog trainer. A dog trainer? Yes, my fantasy is to fly to Cesar Milan's compound in L.A. and train with him. <laughs> Do you have a dog? No. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I really, really, I, I grew up on a farm, so I had lots oh, of animals. I'm kind of allergic to dogs, so allergic, this is actually so. a fairly sensitive area. Okay. <laughs> It's like well, I, you, you can go there if you I want. I kind of want a dog more than I want a child, and so oh my. <laughs> it's kind of what we fight it, fight about. <laughs> like I want a dog first. I want a dog. So yes, I would be a dog trainer. I love that. Okay, okay. Lastly, can you guys now sing a <laughs> snippet of "At Last," since that is also one of your most requested yes, songs. Yes, absolutely. very much. Thank you, thank you. I love how all three entertainers all sound so different on the same song. Let's talk about your prize.